going to look at the Power Edge R720 XT. This is the 2U chassis on it. Of course, designed for in the rack. And there he is, our first look. As you can see, 720 XT name badge. Below that, the on off switch. And of course, the locator, which is for when you've got these in a huge rack. You can press the little button. And it, it's the identifier on the back. The lights will blink so that you can identify it in a rack mount. Look at these for hard drives. 24 in all. As you can see, they're a SAS 900 gigs. They're all 10K. You see 24 in all. Let's take a random one. Look at this for design and fitting. Look at that. That's so slick. There you can see SAS 900, 10K, 6 gigabytes per second. Very, very nice hard drive. And it goes in. Just like that. On this side, got a connection for a VGA monitor and of course, always useful USB port. Now I've got the chassis open for you so we can just have a look in it as we pass in. But first off, I want to bring you around to the the back and we can review some other features. And here we are on the back. You can see one of our lights for identifying. The iDRAC port, got the VGA port. Underneath there, two USBs. And as you can see, there's a row of four there. There's four ports here and four ports there. They're all the Ethernet connections. It's essentially 12 NICs there. there you, are. you come in the form of three Broadcom cards, two 5719s and one 5720. Ah, you got your 5720, two 5719s. Very, very, very nice. Lots of connections, just what you need. And just down the bottom here, as you can see, we're running with two 1100 watt power supplies. And just above them, look at this for a nice feature. Rear mounted hard drives. And these can be assigned to the processors and make a big difference. As you can see there, 146 gig. And this is a 15K. Really, really, really lovely. Again, fitting is as simple as that. Look at this, this is a nice feature they now have. This is for the iDRAC. This is your flash card, 16 gig. Also, there's two more. Peek in there. There they are. There with me, I'm just going to put my wristband on. And there we are. Just in there, we've got two 2 gig SD cards. We've also got our risers to add the extra cards. The network and you've got the housings or the bays for the hard drives and of course connected to these wires got the perk h710p controller card for raid connections over here a nice big row hot plug fans. Look at this. Wonderful little bit of kit. You come out and go in so easy. That's it. It is in. And here 
we have a housing which if we expose leads us to the memory as you can see lots of banks and lots of potential next to those two lovely lovely heat sinks which underneath with their processor and in this case we've got two Xeon E5 2690s they're 2.9 gigahertz and of course eight core so really really fast lovely lovely things let's have a little look inside a few of the other components around Continue our look of this Power Edge R720 XD. We're going to have a little power on, or a lot of power on rather, and at least see what the lights do. Switching on. through a few of its checks we've just configured the memory the wonderful iDrop cards initializing and there we go we'll pop it into BIOS so we can have a quick look in there and on the back here as you can see powered on We've got green light on the power, green light on the power, always a good sign. There's no problems. Should there be any problems, then you'll find that they can change colour and flash. Of course, at the end, the identifier light. Now, hopefully, let's go all the way around for this. We have the system identifier light. And by pressing that, just make him blink. And that, of course, is when you've got the situation, we have a bank of these in a rack, and a big row of them. How do you know which is which and the cables go where? System identifier light. So simple, but such a clever little idea. And that's on this here. Make sure I'm attached to my wristband connector. There we go. I lift the case off. Yeah. You hear the change? A wonderful little feature it does. It ramps up its fan power to make sure it's getting the maximum use of its cooling and whatnot when you take the lid off. And so we replace the lid. Put it calm down again. There we go. It's locked off and sealed. Can you hear him calm down again? And here we are having a look inside the accessory pack. As you can see initially. There's the USB keyboard, the front bezel, finishing off the, the server itself. Over here, very important, we've got the business management software and all the features that you need to get up and running there. Manuals, USB mouse, and of course in this case, two power supplies for our two power supply units. Brand new Dell packaging, which of course has some very good packing materials inside to keep it safe. 